Hi, welcome back. Uh, at the end of the last lesson, I got got a little ahead of myself, and I stated that uh, this would be a short and the last lesson before we got into a big block of hands-on. That's actually not the case. I was getting a little ahead of myself. So let's transition to a more robust ER diagram. And in this one, we're looking at... Uh, tables in the healthcare database that you've been working with and we're looking at the healthcare database from the perspective of the hospitalization table. And so what we're establishing in this ER diagram is kind of our data universe if you will from the perspective of the hospitalization table. And as you work with large complex databases it's important to kind of understand the area of the database that you're working with and have a focal point. A lot of times what you're going to be given is a huge ER diagram that's got 50 or 60 tables or as many as they can fit on it. Uh, these things can get run on plotters that you know are the size of billboard posters that, that hang on walls. So it's important to kind of understand within a relational database the area with which you're working with. And so in this case, the hospitalization table is the table where we define admissions and discharges for patients. And so in this database, we have a foreign key that allows us to hook out to the patient database, which is where the patient's name, date of birth, and information like that is stored. We have the facility that the patient was admitted to, which hooks out to the facility table. We have three foreign keys for providers, for the doctors that hook out to the provider table. We have an admitting doctor, an attending doctor, and a third general purpose foreign key that we could use maybe for a, a surgeon or some other type of uh, doctor. And you can see that in the provider table, the provider stores a foreign key to the department. So the department that the doctor is associated with. So we can hook out to the department table and get the name of the department. Uh, you may also notice that we have a relationship, a foreign key from the patient table to the facility table. And we also have one from the facility from the hospitalization table to the facility table. So, so what's up with that? Well, if we analyze the business scenario, the patient may have a primary facility that they normally go to. Uh, it, the hospital or a clinic that's, say, in Seattle. And so that's where they normally get their healthcare services from. Well, they may be having a procedure, a surgical procedure that's only done at another facility. And so we would need to be able to express that within the entity that the event is, is occurring within. So you can see that the relationships between tables and data, it can get, it can get rather robust and rather complex. What I want to do next is, what we're going to do next is we're kind of going to as we as we analyze this this is interesting is well what if we wanted to get both the doctor's name the admitting doctor's name and the attending doctor's name in our query how how would we go about doing that so that's something that we need to I need to show you how to do uh, also up until now I've only shown you how to join one table together well how would we join two tables together. Say I wanted to join the hospitalization table to the provider table, but I wanted to join the provider table to the department table so I could get the department name. How would I go about doing that? So in the next segment, what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the workbench and we're going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to have this diagram out and open a copy of it out and open where you can see it. And then you want to have the workbench up. And so I'll see you in the next segment. Later.